Hello everyone, I'm Zanta and welcome back for more No Man's Sky. In this episode we're going to be going to a new planet, exploring, seeing what's going on on it, what's different, what's the same. We got some Tamerium on this planet, let's get going. Two, one, and we're in the planet's atmosphere. Looks like a very aquary blue planet, very interesting, uh, looks a bit strange. So I mean, I guess we'll just land and see what's going on, I see some water here, so it's like next to the water. Um, even though it isn't water, um, but it's probably an acidic planet. Definitely looks like an acidic one. They've got here today. We've got floating islands. That's kind of cool. Um, let's actually do a little scan here. See if there's anything nearby. There's something over here. I mean, I think it might be in our best interest to uh, to go and land near one of these. And Kachunk. Here we are. We're here on this planet's atmosphere. Looks very interesting. Got loads of flying islands all over the place. Got animals. Animals are confirmed. Um, let's just start scanning these dudes. Here we go. Very nice. So, what is going on in the world of Xantor? Well, I've been doing a lot of live streaming lately. Um, and, yeah, that, something I want to talk about is uh, the last video of No Man's Sky. Now, it probably wasn't the best because I got a bit salty near the end because of the uh, the whole warp reactor sigma thingy. But that's fine because we, we need to work towards it. Um... And, you know, we're, we're going to get it. We will get it one day or another. It just will take a little bit longer than expected. And we've got some sky eels over here. Look at this. Pretty awesome stuff. I don't think I've seen sky eels on this sort of planet before. Hmm, kind of interesting. Yeah, this is the thing I wanted to look at right here. And, of course, we've got another green chest. What's in here? Call it Convergence Cube. Not what we wanted. Got some health. Ooh, another green one. Awesome. What's in this one? Viking Dagger. Eh, still not great. Still not what I want. Um, because we're still on the quest, of course, for the Get Knip. That is uh, one of our next big uh, big projects that we need to uh, start working towards. The Get Knip project. Um, basically, we need to be able to travel to a, a different sort of galaxy or a green little dot on our galactic map. Which we can't do at the moment because we don't have the warp reactor... Tau, I think it is, um, which is why we need to work towards it and grab it as quickly as we can. Just like this titanium right here, which is kind of cool. It's quite uncommon uh, uh, titanium, I will say. But yeah, um, it, it's quite a confusing point in this game uh, at the moment, really, uh, of what we're doing and what we need to do. Um, because, I don't know, it's a bit all over the place, because we've got the quest to do for the base, and then we also need to actually... Um, build the warp reactor thingy bob to actually be able to do the quest that we need to do. Um, and we're getting attacked by the locals, by the natives. That's fine. I'm, I'm okay with that. They can attack me if they want. Um, I'm pretty good for health anyway. I've got six health, uh, including our shield, so we're doing pretty fine. Uh, we've got to look out for the animals though on this planet. Got to look out for them. But yeah, today it is uh, May the 4th. Um, which I believe is a special day for Star Wars fans. I don't really know. Um, I've never really been into Star Wars. Like, I watched the first film, and honestly, I didn't think it was very good. Like, I watched the, A New Hope. That's the one I watched. Because, I mean, when you say the first film, people get confused and think you mean that the episode one one. Because it gets very confusing. They started with number four, then it went to five, then it went to six, then they did one, two, and three. I'm, I'm very confused at their number of ordering, but... Yeah, apparently that works. Um, but yeah, I've never been a fan of the Star Wars franchise, like, at all. Um, so I don't really know, you know, like, I don't really understand the hype for it. But, I mean, sure, it's May the 4th. Go nuts. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan of Star Wars, like, at all. Um, I don't know, like, I, as bad as it sounds, I think the film was very, very dated. Like, I mean, sure, it, I know it was made like, a long time ago, but it is aged really badly is aged very very badly um so yeah it just looks really bad in my opinion so i'm not really going to watch the rest because i don't like the look of them um i just sort of just cringe to death with the horrific like old uh style of cgi and all of that i did when i watched the first one to be fair um but anyway let's get off topic um let's not talk about star wars anymore um that that Franchise that everyone seems to love, but I just can't stand. Like, I don't like it. It reminds me a bit of like um, 
uh, Michael Jackson's Captain EO. I think I mentioned that before and how I, I deeply despise that um, because of how horrific uh, all of the effects are and everything like that. I mean, that was a long time ago, so probably no one is still here from the original bunch who watched the first episode. I mean, if you are, though, I mean, congrats. I mean, you've made it this far. Um, and I hope, you know, you can make it far in the very near future. Um, but, I mean, I've got to say, though, this adventure, this adventure has been great. We've encountered so many problems and overcome them. And it's, it's just been great. I'm really, really enjoying playing this game. And as well, like, I know we're really, really far from finishing this game, but... I don't want it to end. I really don't want this series to end. Because this is great. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Okay, found a new animal. Four out of nine. Four out of nine. We're getting there. We're getting there. So I think that more than likely I will be doing a series two on this. Um, uh, at a later point. Um, I mean, the thing is, I could always do like a survival mode or a permadeath mode of this game. But, I don't know. I don't particularly like them. They're, at the moment, they're, they're a bit unfair, um, in my opinion. Um, I've been playing a bit of survival mode myself, and it's like it's like completely different um, to this game. The way I play it, it's completely different because constantly you're worrying about you know where you're going to land if you're going to land on a good planet, um, and you know whether you're going to have enough fuel to keep going, um, which I don't really want to think about while playing this game because um, this is more of like a relaxed series, you know. This series right here that we're playing now, it's not meant to be anything like um, serious, like survival or permadeath. You know, we can't die. It's just the fact is that in in this particular mode, I've, I've basically had it. So it's like a personal challenge to not die um, on normal mode. Now, I don't think we will. Um, but, you know, there's always a chance. There is always a chance. We might have a really particularly bad space battle. It might end very badly. Um... You never know, really. We might have really extreme weather conditions. We might not make it back to our our ship in time. Who knows? Who knows? Because I do know as well. Um, something I've I found out recently. There is a way of like completely avoiding, like taking damage. Um, outside. Um, and we've actually got the ability to do that now as well. But I'm not really going to be abusing this glitch unless like, I really, really need to. Um, because I mean, it would it would completely like stop resources flowing through my inventories. Like, I would never need to collect iron again. I would never need to collect anything again, really. Um, but I don't want to do that, really. I don't want to do that. Basically, all you need to do is, like, just, like, pretty much dig out a massive hole in the ground with your, um, your plasma rifle or whatever. Your big explodey, um, grenade thing. And all, all that will happen is you'll just stop like taking any environmental damage if you just dig a hole like straight down do the thing that you should never do in minecraft dig straight down but if you do that like you're fine you don't have any problems at all you're all right you won't take any environmental damage or anything but I, i'm not in that position i don't want to do that because that in my opinion is a bit it's a bit cheaty i mean sure like growing gecknip and like sitting around for hours while that grows surely that would be a bit a bit on that weird side as well, but like it it's a part of the game. It's a part of the game. I mean so is the, the, the grenade thing, but it's not intended for you to do that. Which is why I'm not gonna do it. Uh, that's just a trade terminal over there. Okay, we won't really go for that. Um but yeah, um I will say I've been doing a little bit more live streaming though, as of recently. Um and it's going really well. Like, I've I had two followers in two days. Um and, like, keep in mind, I started, like, not too long ago. Um, I think I started on the 30th, 30th of March. That's right. The day before my birthday, uh, 2017. Um, so, yeah, that's just a, a, a reference point of when I started. And now it's May the 4th. So, I've got 19 followers. I haven't been streaming every day. But I've been doing, you know, bits of streams, like, all over the place. Um, ooh, I really want that. Um... It's an additional inventory point. Oh my goodness, look at this guy. Massive guy. Look at that. Wow. Five out of nine. We're getting there. We're getting there. But yeah, um, live streaming, I will say, as bad as it sounds, it's been going a lot better than YouTube has been going for me. Um, so, I will say it might be an idea that in the future I might even give up YouTube and, you know, just directly just do streaming. Um, 
I mean, I, I'm very doubtful that's going to happen like anytime soon. Like, I'm not planning on it anytime soon. I'm really enjoying what I'm doing so far uh, with YouTube, and I'm not planning on giving up. But you know, I'm just saying, if it does happen that things go really well on Twitch.tv, I will probably just move there exclusively. You know, um, but yeah, I mean, we'll we'll, we'll see. We'll have to see. Um, because at the moment I'm enjoying YouTube and it's going well. Um, I am getting slowly more popular as the days go by. Um, but Twitch is going better. I mean, I've been doing, as I said, I've been doing Twitch for like, um, since the 30th of March. And I've already got 19 followers, right? As I am at the moment. Whereas, um, whereas YouTube, I've been doing this for like, uh, since around do, 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 October, I think it is. It's around October. Um, and I've got 17 subscribers on YouTube. So, I mean, it's just logical. I mean, Twitch has definitely um, been more successful in a shorter time. For sure. So, I don't know. That, that's the only thing I'm thinking of. Like, it, it'd be better to do Twitch. Um, but I am going to stay doing YouTube for a long time, because um, I like YouTube uh, a lot more than Twitch anyway. Uh, let's just make a new shielding sheet, a shielding shard. The thing is, I would go like all the way to the next page and make a shielding sheet like this, but the problem is, it, it, it requires more clicks. <laughs> that's, that's the only thing, really. Uh, there's a new guy over there. I think that's just a variant of the other guy. Yeah, there you go. But yeah, we still need to find two more animals on this planet. Um, and I'm not sure where they could be. I'm really not sure. Um, I'll check my my sheet in a minute, my uh, journey tab, and see what we need to find. But while we're here, we might as well get a new inventory space. Um, get another one. 260,000. <sighs> sure. Sure. I mean, the thing is, we're going to get them eventually. Like, all of these eventually. And when we've stopped like getting those inventory upgrades, we'll never need to get them again. So... I mean, we might as well get them all as quickly as possible. Oh dear, there's a storm. Well, it's a good thing there's some protection here. Look at that. Look at that. We can just sit in here while the storm's on. And just wait until it's over. Now, the only thing I'm wondering is, are there any storm-specific animals? I would have thought there would be. Because there, there is, has known to be before. So welcome to planet 119. There we go. So we've only got two animals left to find, and yeah, they're both land animals. So I mean, we might as well uh, keep having a look around here. You know what? Screw it. I'm going out in the storm because there's a chance we'll be, we will find our last animals uh, just around here. You never know. You never know. And I mean, to be fair, for what it is, we've got pretty good protection on this as well. Like, look at that. The, the bar's like barely going down. It's, it's struggling to go down. So, we're okay for a while. Like, honestly, we're, we're good on this planet, this extreme planet. Um, though it's not extreme, it's just, I don't know, just dangerous. It's a weird situation, because I haven't really had a point where, oh my god, how far away were we from our ship? Eight minutes! Oh boy! Oh boy! Maybe we should have kept track of that. <laughs> I've just been rambling and, and going in this one direction. I have not been focusing on how far my ship is away. Should really start making it back. Um, might be best. Let's save our progress. Um, because, of course, I've had it before. I've had it the point where the game will just crash. Um, so, you know. Um, it is very possible that... Uh, but you never know. The way the animals spawn, it'll, the, the animals will probably spawn next door to my ship. Um, that's just how they genuinely spawn in this game, um, from what I've experienced. Ah, well, the storm was cleared. That's good. We've got a bright, sunny day yet again, um, meaning we can continue exploring this planet, even though we weren't like we, we were, you know, exploring the planet um, to begin with. But yeah, we can continue now. Um, not like we were before. As tempting as it is to pick up the plutonium and how beautiful plutonium looks, I'm not going to pick it up. I don't need it. 
I've got too much plutonium on me. Have you have you seen how much I've got? I've got over 500 on me. If I need anything, it is iron. Because iron just magically seems to disappear from my inventory. Uh, where did that explosive go? It just disappeared. But yeah, iron is the magical thing that just happens to disappear from your inventory. Like, all the time. Without, like, any explanation. Um, so let's just gather a bunch of it. I think that'll be okay for now. Got, like, 400 now. Um... Though, I mean, I'm sure that when we get back to our base, we'll blow through that 400 like nothing. Um, which is quite quite weird, really. Oh my god, yep. Look at all the iron we've got. <laughs> our inventory is filled with iron now. So, we're not in any dire need of iron um, anymore now. Um, so, that's a good thing. Can't seem to find these last two animals. They're land animals as well. It's very, very strange. I would have thought that would be quite common, but no, it doesn't seem like it. Hmm. Aha, we've got another green chest. And our inventory's full of iron. Let's just teleport some of it over. There you go. Get knip! Ah! This is what we need. How many get knip have we got now? Jeez. We've got two get knip. Hang on, two get knip? Where's the rest of it gone? I remember I had loads of getting it before. How do I only have two? I'm confused. I can't pick this up, so maybe we've had this before. I'm very confused. Well, I promise you, I've not been sniffing the getnip like, off screen. <laughs> okay, I'm trying out a new strategy in No Man's Sky. The cinematic strategy. I mean, if I just walk, like, and don't run or use any of my, any of my little tricks, um, maybe the animals will just appear. Because, you know, it, I'm taking longer to walk through the area, meaning the spawn, like, the, the way animals spawn is going to be slightly different. Because it's not going to struggle to spawn animals. It's going to gently, relaxly do them on its own. Uh, and hopefully it'll just spawn the animals. So I'm going to walk really slowly for now. I mean, I still think it's something they need to work on over at No Man's Sky Corporation. Um, they need to work on, uh, on, on, on animal spawning rates and stuff like that they need to have like specific sections for the animals as well like you know water animals land animals sky animals underground animals storm animals and stuff like that they need to have like a little i don't know a notebook or something they need to have something you can like see where all the animals are and, and, and stuff they need to make it easier oh my goodness i know we've already like see like scanned this guy but look how big this guy is I don't think you can quite compare it. Oh, look, new animal. Is this a new one? I think it is. Yes, it is. Look at that. Noise. So we just need one more. And it is also a land animal. Um, just like that sort of guy. But look at him. Look how big this fella is. I would almost say this is the biggest animal we've seen. It's it's very possible. Because, you know, No Man's Sky and their weird ways. Like, Hello Games. For some reason... In this latest update, they removed the option to see the height of an animal. Which is really dumb, because that means my, like, biggest animal competition has been abruptly ended. Um, because Hello Games wanted it to. Anyway, what's in here? Ooh, it's one of these, like, broken down facilities. Let's check it out. Analyze data log. Something has been left that laid me on my own journey. Cool. A load of nanite clusters. Great. Ooh, look at that. We got 300 nanite clusters now. That's pretty good, actually. Um, I'm sure we can actually uh, make use of that. Ew, what's this sludge? Got some black sludge on the ground. Never seen that before. I've not been been to a load of these. And now our ship is four minutes away. Still, still a long way. Still a long way away. Um, but you know, we're, we're making there slowly. We're getting back as we go. I don't remember going out all the way like this far away. I do not remember that. And uh, we got a gragra. Unless it's a nighttime animal, it might be a nighttime one. We'll just have to see. Huh, a, a knowledge stone, but apparently we've already got that one. So we're going back in the same area that we were. I do not remember standing on this hill right here. I do not remember this bit. It's almost like this planet's been like explored already. It's really weird. Well, you know, if I don't find this animal by the time it goes dark again, I'm probably just going to leave the planet. I mean, it's been a good episode. I've had a, a you know a, a good chat with with you, the viewers. Um. And yeah, we've had a good time this episode. We have had a good time. Ooh, that reminds me. Um, there's something that I found out recently. Um, that different alien species have, like, specialised in different things. I wasn't aware of this. So, like, I think Gex 
um, are more like um, like spaceship upgrades. Um, then there are like Vikeen, which I think are multi-tool. And then there are the uh, what are they called the Corvax, the Corvax, which are f like specialized in suit technologies. I didn't know this, but I mean, it's pretty cool, pretty cool stuff. Ah, uh, Gek Charm. I thought it was Gek Nip. Ah, uh, now it seems like barely animals are, like it seems like barely any animals are spawning at night time. Like, they're not very common at all. Um, oh well, another green box. Gra gra. Damn it. Although these things are useful because um, what we can do is if we give them to um, so like other aliens at the space station, um, which I'm actually going to go and do now actually, um, just to see what they got. Um, what will be, what you can do is you can then buy more upgrades from the space uh, station uh, for those nano clusters. That's the use that they have, which I need to sort of, I know I need to do more of that. I need to do a lot more of that. Look how much iron we've got! Holy heck, we've got more than enough iron now. By the way, like off screen, I actually tried like backing into one of these space stations, and it just completely broke the space station. <laughs> like it doesn't like. Basically, the tractor beam just doesn't work if you're going backwards, and you can actually sort of run in like to where that guy is now, um, and like it just stops you. There's like an invisible wall. It's pretty cool. Anyway, we're now over here. Let's talk to this guy, um, Blueprint Trader. So I just want to see what this guy has, just in case he's got the upgrade that we need. Uh, no, 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 he doesn't. Um, which is okay, I, I guess. Um, I mean, we'll probably be able to get it another time. That's okay. So now, how it works is if there's just a guy to talk to rather than a recruit uh, icon here, which unfortunately does not have got this time. But if it just says talk, that means you can actually give like bits and pieces to him, like this, like Scholar Entity Talmec. So, I mean, sure, you can say whatever you want here. Um, high research, clarify, entity. Sure, the predators, whatever. And he's happy. So he's showing us a new multi-tool, which I'm not interested in. But if you talk to this guy again, this is where you can actually give him some cool stuff. See, look, Corvax Convergence Cube. Now, I think we've already got one of those. Um, I thought we did. Yeah, look, we got a Corvax Convergence Cube right here. So we can just give it to him, and it'll raise our profile with the Corvax right here. Like this, look. There you go. He agrees to help, and it just raises our profile with the Corvax, which means we're going to be able to buy some more some more stuff when we eventually level that up, which is what the point of these things are now, like the Viking daggers and the Geknip and all the Gek stuff and the Gragras. That's the point. But anyway, we've done a lot of exploring this episode. We've done quite a lot. So if you enjoyed this video, please rate, comment, favourite and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video of No Man's Sky, where we'll be exploring planet 120 in our 29th star system. So, have a good one. Goodbye.